In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a couple things. First, I'm going to teach you how to do the tabs here, the ellipses. Also, I'm going to teach you how to set paragraph styles and how to use glyphs. So you can add the E here for entree. So first, we want to achieve this ellipses right here. The way we do that is to set tabs. To set tabs, you go to type and then tabs. And you'll, need, you'll see that the tab starts up here with the, with the ruler that goes across your text box. A tab is when you hit the actual type key tab. So every time you hit that, usually it goes five spaces. When you set tabs on here, you make it to where all the tabs are equal. So in a typical setting, let's go over here. In a typical setting, you would ha hit tab and then five. And then you could type down here, um, spaghetti, vegetarian, hit tab, and it says five. And you'll notice that the tabs are actually different spaces here because it's different wording length. But you want all those to be the same, just like this, where they're all aligned on the right side. So to do that, you would first highlight your text, move your ruler over to the to the uh, text box and click right align right justified the tab that tells the text to all align on the right side and then you click on your ruler where you want that tab to lie so this one there's an extra space there we can go back and delete that but you just keep dragging this along the way and the way you do the the dot is right here on leader you just type in dot if I take that away, it'll just be a regular space. If I want the, um, I can do a dot and then a space, and that way there's a little more space in between all the ellipses. And then once you're ready, you can go back here and you can just delete the space here, and they're all aligned. So that's how you do tabs. Now, it, you don't want to do this over and over again. If you're doing the menu and you have, you know, 100 different menu items, you don't want to keep setting the tabs. So the way to save this is once you have your text exactly the way you want it, like I do here, you highlight the first. This would be a, a subhead, uh, the first subhead, and this would be a description text. You notice that this is a little bit smaller than this one. This one has tabs and this one doesn't. So let's set these paragraph styles. So first you highlight the text. Go over to the side here, Paragraph Styles. If you don't have that, go to Window, and it's under Type and Tables, and then Paragraph. Actually, I'm sorry, it's under um, Styles, and then Paragraph Styles. So again, make sure you have that open. Let's delete the ones I already have. So, you'll see that it just deleted my Paragraph Style there. So let's do with this one. You highlight this and hit this new box and that, that sets your paragraph style. So I'm going to double click this and rename it to uh, subhead with tabs menu. And I also want to save this paragraph style. Let's save that as description. So then when you go over here to your next one, I already have a, um, a header here with a description. So let's highlight this and then you click subhead and the reason there's no ellipses here is because there's no tab so you just tab out and you can <clears throat> just get it to the space you like and then highlight this and do description so this all matches this side now you can fix this again and you can fix this so all of these will match so when you go to add the description here it's going to continue the subhead text here, so you want to highlight that text and hit description. Make sure you name your paragraph styles so you can keep up with what you're doing here. And the last thing I want to show you in this video is how to do a glyph. Um, first you want to go to your window and choose glyphs. It's under type and tables and then glyphs. So we want the, the uh, fancy E here. And you'll see at the top of your, excuse, sorry, you'll see at the top of your um, glyphs here. There's uh, some text that I've used before, 
And if I choose any of these, it's going to use the actual text. So this is like Times New Roman or something. You don't want that because obviously it doesn't match. So you want to make sure to look in your glyphs in the bottom here that make sure that matches the text that you're using. So let's scroll. Um, let's see. Entire font. And this is, it says Arial Narrow. The font that I'm using is... Carnelian. So we want to make sure that this says Carnelian. And then here we are at the top. There's the E that I need. That's not it either. Let's see. This text is Chop and Script, sorry. Alright, there it is. There's the E that I need. So then you double click it and it'll automatically insert it for you. So let's say this needs to be that fancy, you know, fancy Y. You could fix it right there. Or you can just hit Command or Control Z and undo. And X that out when you're ready. And that's all. Save your work and make sure your paragraph styles are saved and named so you can come back to them for your work later on.